long ago, the great Frith made the world. He made all the stars, and the world lived among the stars. Frith made all the animals and birds, and at first made them all the same. Now among the animals was Elahera, the prince of rabbits. He had many friends, and they all ate grass together. But after a time, the rabbits wandered everywhere, multiplying and eating as they went. Frith said to Elahrera, Prince Rabbit, if you cannot control your people, I shall find ways to control them. But Elahrera would not listen and said to Frith, My people are the strongest in the world. This angered Frith, so he determined to get the better of Elahrera. He gave a present to every animal and bird, making each one different from the rest. When the fox came, and others like the dog and the cat, the hawk and the weasel, to each of them, Frith gave a fierce desire to hunt and slay the children of El Ahrera. Elahrera knew that Frith was too clever for him, and he was frightened. He had never before seen the black rabbit of death. My friend, said Frith, have you seen Elahrera? For I wish to give him a gift. Mm, uh, uh, no, I, I, I have not seen him. So Frith said, come out and I will bless you instead. No, I cannot. I am busy. The fox and weasel are coming. If you want to bless me, you'll have to bless my bottom. Very well. Be it so. And Elahrera's tail grew shining white and flashed like a star. And his back legs grew long and powerful. And he tore across the hill faster than any creature in the world. All the world will be your enemy, prince with a thousand enemies. And whenever they catch you, they will kill you. But first they must catch you, digger, listener, runner. Prince with the swift warning. Be cunning, and full of tricks, and your people will never be destroyed.
much of that wood there. Enjoyed many a game pie from it, too. Ah, well, you can't hold back progress. Shame, though. Good Lord, it's gone, eh? And I told Elizabeth we'd go into Newbury this evening. Old sunsets are late in summer. It's morning before evening. I think it's safe now, Fiver. Well, there's still something strange about the Warren this evening. Is it dangerous? It's not exactly danger, it's... Oh, I don't know. Something oppressive. Like thunder. It seems safe enough now, though. Come on, then. See if you can find me a cold spot. If you can't, no one can. What's going on? It's only that run to Fiverr. Jumping up blue bottles again. Come on, hurry up. Fiverr found it, Toadflax. And we'll eat it. Colts put off for Owsler. You know that. To tell you the truth, I'm getting sick and tired of it. Sometimes I feel like clearing out of the Warren altogether. Never mind. Let's forget it and try to enjoy the evening. Come there, don't think it won't. It, it, it's all around us. Now stop it, Fiver. We, we, we've, we've got to go away from here, all of us. Go away? On the whole Warren? Yes, before it's too late. Being silly. They won't come, they'll think you're out of your mind. You must listen to me, Hazel. Something very bad is going to happen. Well, I suppose we'd better try and see the Chief Rabbit. You can tell him about it, but I don't expect he'll like the idea at all. We've got to go away from the Warren. All of us. Go away? Yes, before it's too late. Is there something wrong? What's he on about? What's the matter, do you think? Is there danger? Come on, let's find out what's happening. Hazel? It is Hazel, isn't it? It is. What are you doing here? We want to see the Chief Rabbit, Bigwig. We? You mean he wants to see him, too? Yes. I must. What's it all about? Well, it's... Bigwig? What do they want? They want to see the Chief Rabbit. What for? Well, I have to... Ex Send them away. I'll take care of it, Holly. Look, Bigwig, when have I ever asked to see the Chief Rabbit before? Oh, well... All right, all right. Wait here. Thank you. 
Come on, then. So I'll probably get my ears chewed off for this. Ah, walnuts. It is walnut, isn't it? No, sir. Hazel. Hazel. Oh. I knew your mother well. And your friend? My brother, sir. Do you tell me how I can help you? Well, he says there's a bad danger coming to our warren. A bad danger? How very upsetting. Now, what sort of danger, I wonder? I don't know, but it's bad. It's so bad. Well, now, what ought we to do? Go away, all of us, now. Now, in May, the mating season. And where would we go to? Well, he's had these feelings before, and he's been right again and again. I shall have to consider this very carefully. And perhaps we'll discuss it later in the summer. We can't wait! We can't wait! Well, it's been good of you to come, Walnut. Big wig! Big wig. Sir, what was that all about? Well, sir, the... Your duty as an officer is to protect this burrow. Yes, sir. Those two lunatics have better be one. Yes, sir. Who's that? It's me, Dandelion. That no. Marie. Dandelion told me you were leaving the Warren tonight. If it's true... I'd like to come along. We'd like to come along, too. I don't much like the look of things. We must get everyone. That toad flax fella followed me down the run. It could mean the house has been turned out. Right. And the sooner we're off, the better. The Ausler, the couple. There aren't many of you left, are there? Big Wig, are you off duty? Off duty? I'm likely to remain off. I've left the Ausler. Fiver, I've been thinking about what you said. Are you sure? I'm sure. And, and we're leaving. Leaving? All of you? Where to? We don't know exactly, but we're going. You're all under arrest. Under arrest? What do you mean? What for? Spreading dissension, inciting to mutiny. There's a bad danger coming. That's not good. You'll all come with me. Is he alone? I am Captain of Ausler. Go. Now, or we'll kill you. It's you who'll be killed. <laughs> Bigwig! Yes, you know me. He won't be long coming back with the Ausler. Right. Well, I think I'll come with you. and that other half-size one are all in. They need to rest. That's right, Hazel. Look, once we're beyond the woods, we'll really be clear of the Ausler, and we can rest then.
never been in a wood before, Hazel. He looks dangerous. Follow me. Lendry. This way. It had just killed. I saw blood on its lips. Lucky for us it had. Otherwise it might have been quicker. Cross it. Who's going to cross it? What do you want to cross it for? Are you sure about this? Yes, but I don't think I can swim, Hazel. I'm worn out, and Pipkin's even worse off than me. We can't just sit here. I know what we ought to be looking for. A high, lonely place with dry soil, where we can see and hear all around, and men hardly ever come. There's a dog loose in the wood. Well, that does it. A dog? Come on. What do you think will happen when he picks up our scent? Those that can swim, swim. The others will have to make out the best they can. That's not good enough. We all got into this together, we'll all get out of it together. Hazel, look. It floats. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Fiver, get on, quickly. Silver, bigwig, get your nose under it. Push it out. Quickly! Does anyone know where we're going? Hazel does, I'm sure. I've never seen anything like that before. The man thing killed it. A man thing? A roo-doo-doo. It runs on it. The what? The roo-doo-doo. It runs on it? Yeah, faster than we can. It's dangerous, then. Could catch us. No, no. It won't take any notice of us at all. I'll show you. Watch this. See? It's not interested. What are you waiting for? Well, come along then. They 
You need to rest, Hazel. There's something up ahead. A warm, friendly burrow, perhaps? No, 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 not a burrow. A, a field. A great field of scented plants that will cover us sight and sound until we're rested. You're beginning to sound like a chief, Hazel. Hazel Ra. Hazel Ra? That'll be the day I call him chief, that will. Violet's gone. We better keep moving. soon, Hazel. They're frightened and tired. There. We'll rest there. Can't rest there. That's a man place. There are no men there now. What's happening back home, I wonder? Think, when, when we lived in our own burrows, eh? <laughs> Dry, soft, warm bodies. <laughs> now look, we can't go on like this. It gets worse and worse the further we go. Where are we going? It won't be much longer, then we can all rest. How much longer? We never should have left. Suppose Fiber's all wrong. We want to go back and find out. Go back? After all we've been through? And probably get killed for wounding Captain Holly, an hour's lot officer. Talk sense for Fritz's sake. We must go on until we reach the hills. Those that go back will not... not safe. Not safe. <laughs> I don't believe you know where you're going. Now listen to me, you bunch of mole-snouted muckraking. It looks like you've come a long way. Do you live here? Yes. Uh, yes, this is our warren. Well, we need to stay here for a while. 
Why not? We supposed you would. But I, I don't think there are enough of you, are there, to live very comfortably on your own? There are enough of us to protect ourselves. Oh, don't get upset. Who are you? What do you want? My name is Cowslip, and I don't want anything. Yeah, what about the others? We have plenty of empty burrows, if that's what you mean. And now, if you'll excuse me, I hate the rain. Funny smell. We ought to have nothing to do with that cowslip or his warrant. Well, it might be drier in there. Whatever will he think of us if we don't go in? I'll tell you. He'll think we're afraid. Afraid? Who's afraid? He seemed friendly enough. But what has he got to gain by asking us to join him? We can't sit out here like fools. Well, come along, then. They think I'm mad, but you know I'm not. And you still won't listen. Hazel? Come along, Father. smell again. It's almost like man. Oh, it's you, is it? How nice. I'm well, so glad you've come. This is rather a big warren. Uh, yes. Uh, please, uh, help yourself to Flera. Uh, there are fresh roots here daily. The man throws it out. Man? What man? Uh, a lot of the burrows are lying empty, you know, so uh, you're all welcome to any that you choose. Where are all the others? Uh, please, eat all you like. We'll leave you to your... Uh, uh, to yourself. Where are they all? Where? Try asking Cowslip where anything. They seem sad. Like... like trees in November. Yeah, well, I still think we've made a big change for the better. Do you think the man puts the food out there because of a kind heart? Well, it's not poison. <laughs> There's something unnatural and evil and twisted about this place. It feels... it feels like mist. Like being deceived and losing our way. Uh, some of us are gathering and uh, suggesting stories. Uh, we're hoping you'll tell one. Oh, well, Hazel can tell you about our adventures and how we had the good luck to join you. Surely there's no harm in that. Uh, Dandelion, why don't you tell us a story of El Arara? El Arara and his trickery don't really mean very much to us. Charming as it is. Rabbits will always need tricks. No, we need dignity. And above all, the will to accept our fate. As one of our poets is fond of saying, if I may quote... Yes, please. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, of course. Why please not? Please do. Where are you going, stream? Far, far away. Take me with you, stream. Take me on your dark journey. Lord Frith, oh, take me. Take me far away to the heart of light. The silence. I give you my breath. My life. The silence. I've had enough. Where are you going? Away to the hills. By yourself alone? He'll die. You're closer to death than I. You're determined to ruin it for us, aren't you? No! It's me, 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 all the time. But I'm in a mist. Bigwig! Everything's bad. No! I have a funny feeling in my toe. No, no, it... I... Cracker! I'm finished with you. And what's more, I'm going to make sure everyone else is. You're in a snare. A snare. And what did they tell you in Alsler? Think. 
no good biting wire. Run, Father. Run to the warren and get the others. Blackberry silver. And cowslip. Be quick, he'll die. Blackberry, down your line. Come quickly. Come on, come on. Hurry up. It's big wig. He's still breathing. What can we do? We've got to loosen the wire somehow. Yes, but how? Is cowslip coming? Maybe he knows. He wouldn't come. He told me to stop talking about it. He told you what? This is it. The wire's on a peg. We've got to dig it out. The peg's narrower down there. It tapers. But I can't get my teeth into it. Pipkin, you go in. The splinters prick you. It's hard to breathe. But the peg's nearly through. Fiver, you go in. I can't feel him breathing. It's broken in two. It's free. He's gone. We've got you out, Big Wig. You're free. Big Wig, please don't die. It's no use. We, we got you out. What shall we do without him? My heart has joined a thousand. For oh, my, my friends friend stopped stop running, running today. today. You pay for it. The food, the warren, but no one must ever ask where anyone was or speak of the wires. The whole place is snared everywhere, every day. They left Pigwig to die. Silver's right. Let's drive them out, take their warren and live there ourselves. Yes, back to the warren. Yes, 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 back to the warren. Oh, Emily of Frith, you fools. That warren's nothing but a death hole. Yes, let's help ourselves to a roof of bones. Oh, will kill them. Bigwig! <laughs> You're alive! <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> we thought you were dead. Bigwig! <laughs> Let him alone. Let him rest. Don't have to rest. What do we do now, Fiver? Go away from here. Look. Look. That's the place for us. High, lonely hills where the wind and the sound carry, and the ground's as dry as straw in a barn. That's where we ought to be. That's where we have to get to. Pipkin? Hmm? Why don't we go and look round the farm? Um, um, <laughs> farm, Hazel? What for? <laughs> Cats and dogs. <laughs> I've got a little plan. Won't it be dangerous? Of course not. Is it safe? Of course. <clears throat> let's, let's all go. No. Just you and me. Safe in there? Of course. You wait here. But, but 
if you see a cat. A cat. You will let me know at once, all right? Right. I'm Hazel. Hazel. My name's Clover. Where do you come from? Oh, far away. My friends and I live as we please. We eat grass, lie in the sun. Do you ever get out? Oh, yes. Well, sometimes a child takes us out on the grass. Would you like to join us? Join you? But how? How can we join you? Hazel, there's a cat outside. I must go back to my friends. But we'll be back, and any of you who wish can come along with us. Where is it? There. I think it smelled us. I'll get you away. Thank you. Just follow me closely. Oh, yes. And run when I do. Run when you do. You look hungry. Rats getting too clever, I suppose. I bet you can't uh... run at all. Hmm? Hmm? You pie-eyed, saucer-licking scrap-scraper. Can you run? You'll see. I think not. I think not! <laughs> something coming up the line of the hedge. Can you see it? I hear it. It's something big. A cat? I, I don't know. saw it coming. But what happened? Our warren. Destroyed. Destroyed? How? Men came. Filled in the burrows. Couldn't get out. There was a strange sound. You see, the air turned bad. Runs blocked with dead bodies. We couldn't get out. Everything turned mad. Warren, earth, roots, grass, all pushed into the air. Men have always hated us. No. They just destroyed the Warren because we were in their way. They'll never rest until they've spoiled the earth. I tried to find you. I wandered for days. The Africans wouldn't let me go. They ripped my ear. Ripped it. I tried to find you. Africans? What's he talking about? Holly? Let him be. He's had a bad time. He can tell us about it when he's rested.
young doe has her request sir. A doe? Who's she? She says she represents a group, sir. Sir, several of us propose an expedition to start a new warren somewhere else. A new warren? Out of the question. But you don't understand. The system is breaking down. Explain that. Some of us cannot produce litters. We're overcrowded. I want no further discussion about it. We'll go as far as you like. Here or anywhere else. I... Thank you, sir. Champion. Have I watched? That's it, Hazel. That's where we have to be. Found a burrow, Hazel, under that beach hanger, with a great hall and no smell of death or disease. Oh, Frith on the hills! He made it all for us. Frith may have made it, but Fiverr found it. seen anything like it. It's some kind of a bird. Are you hurt? Gah, gah! Big week, I've got an idea. See if you can find some worms. Worms? We dig for worms? What for, for Fritz's sake? I get a plenty soon. Well, he's hurt and we want to help him. A bird? What for? We help you. Piss off! What? For help me. What happened to you? Damn cat jumped me, farm cat. We know her. We take you to Burrow. Go away. We no good, but I walk. Plenty good. Is long way? Where you come from? From big, big water. My home by big water. Big water. We go. fine once we got here, but it's not. Because now we've got here, I find it not that simple. What do you mean? This place is as safe as Fiverr said it would be. Hmm. I 
think we've done very well for ourselves. But we don't have any does. Does? Does? Not one. And that means no kittens. After we're gone, no warrant. So that's why you went to that farm. I thought we might be able to get some of those hunts rabbits to join us. What's to be done then, Hazel? Set off again? But where? There's not been a sniff of another rabbit since we got here. The bird. Kia. We'll get the bird to search for us. What home? This home. Where are mates? Where are chicks? Meat. Make eggs. Me sit an X, hatch X, many X, we feed chick. Egg robbers come, we fight. You stupid bunnies! You got no mates! Where are mates? Where are chicks? Plenty trouble for you! You need mates! It's working, Hazel. You got no brains, you no plan. You need mate for plan. Listen, I got plan for you. Win better, I go fly. Fly for you. I find mates. What a splendid idea, Kia. How clever of you to think of it. You very fine bird. When will you be able to fly? I fly any time. Stand back. When I fly, stand back, stand back, back, back. I need room. Wings good. Feathers clean. I soar. I glide. I circle. said you couldn't make a friend out of him. Well, he's probably gone back to that big water of his. I think you're right. Blackberry, I want you to get Dandelion and meet me here after the others are asleep. It's no good asking you not to go, I suppose. It'll be perfectly safe, Fiver. I'll take the greatest care. these rabbits out, look. That's getting in quick. 
There's a wild rabbit, look. There he goes. <laughs> Keep torch on, man. <laughs> I don't rightly know, John, whether you were here or not. I reckon he's in them nettles. Have a look, then. Oh, I hit him all right. That's blood down there, see? Ah, well, that don't signify. He might be a long ways off you now. I reckon he's lost these. <laughs> oh, no, he ain't. Fiver, there's been some trouble. Hazel's been shot. No. The Black Rabbit serves Lord Frith. But he does no more than his appointed task. Hazel's not dead. Perfect landing. Hazel's been wounded. The farm man shot him. Come on, follow me. Come on. You get black stones out? What do you mean? Always with gun is coming, little black stone. 
You never see. Take out black stones, he get better, yeah? Let me see, like, ah, many stones. Did you find anything on your flight? Ephrafa. Can you guide us there? Many rabbits. Do many rabbits. A whole lot of us wouldn't be enough to fight one of their white patrols. What do you mean? You see this? They did it to me. It's an identification mark. Tells you when you can be above ground. What do you mean? Who's to stop you? Their Hausler. Their chief is called Woundwort. General Woundwort. I don't think even you'd match up to him, Bigwig. Under him are captains, each one in charge of a mark. If you're found above ground at the wrong time, they take you before the council for punishment. Some of them must get away. They caught one trying to run away when I was there. Blackavar was his name. When they finished with him, both his ears were ripped to shreds. Worse than this one of mine. He was lucky not to have been killed. There was another one, a doe, Heisenthlay. I couldn't have escaped without her help. Why didn't she go with you? She said she wouldn't go without the others. Then there are some that might be persuaded to leave. Oh, yes. But you'd never get them out of Ephrafa. Well, you got out. Only because Lord Frith sent one of his great messengers. I didn't see what happened to them. It must have cut them down. Well, it's not going to be easy, but we don't have much choice. We'll start off just as soon as I'm fit to travel. I don't like this idea of yours at all, Hazel. Holly, I want you to stay here. You're known to them, and it could be dangerous for you. I've been in Ephrafa, and I tell you, you're making a bad mistake that might very well get you all killed. Draw it off, I suppose. Oh, Frith and Inlay. Come on, let's get out of here. But what? Come on, hurry! Uh, aren't you wounded? No, never better. Let's go. What was that all about? I just lost my head, Hazel. I've been strung up all day, thinking about Ephrafa. Anyway, I feel a lot better now. Why did you cry out like that if you're all right? I didn't. I just stopped limping, you know, ready to run really fast, when I bumped into a group of rabbits face to face. I tried to warn them about the Humber, but all they did was try to stop me. One of them said, you stay here. So I knocked him down. I had to, and raced off. Next thing I heard was this dreadful squeal. So the Humber got the other rabbit? It must have. After all, I led them right into it. But I never saw what happened. It's not the rest here they come. A patrol? Yeah, yeah, he's coming for find you, he's gone! You go to river, then they not find you! Come on, all of you, under that bridge, unless you want your ears chewed off. Yeah, yeah, come along. By other side, Iron Road. I think maybe they no like for go cross Iron Road. Hazel, you go on. This may be my chance to get into Ephrafa. But it's too. All right, take care. Now, Kiha will meet you tomorrow in that kale field. Tell him then what you've been able to work out. It's the Hazel. What wait for? He's right, Hazel. You must go now. We'll go down to the river and wait there until you tell us what you want us to do. What I want you to do is to find some way to keep them from following us. Go on now, before we're all caught. <laughs> We 
we picked up this Tlesi and brought him in. Who are you? My name is Bigwig. Bigwig, sir. What were you doing? I've come to join Ephrathar. Why? I'm surprised you ask. Sir, hmm. is there anything odd about wanting to join? I'll ask the questions. What can you do? Hmm? I can run and fight. Hmm. Fight, can you? I've been an officer in the Nausla. So, you came to join us. I thought you might have some use for me. Well, for the time being, you'll be assigned a post in the patrol. You take orders from Captain Campion. And if you uh, want a dough, you have your choice here. <laughs> You're not an officer for nothing. Ah. Thank you, sir. And uh, you'll be identified by your mark. <laughs> Those Ephrathans will be fast and savage. I'll have to find a way to get away from them. If what Holly says is true, we couldn't possibly stand and fight them. Then we'll have to find another way. <coughs> what on earth's that, Keith? Huh? <coughs> Hazel, come and look at this. What is it? It's boat! Man, make them go on water! It floats, Hazel. It floats. Aren't you going to Silflay? I don't Silflay at this time, sir. Tell him why you're here, Black of Our. I come here for the mark to... I come here for the mark to see me. How I have been punished for trying to leave the warren. The council were merciful. The council were merciful. He keeps trying to run away. Captain Campion caught him this time. The council ripped his ears and says he has to show himself at every morning and evening Silflay as an example to the others. If you ask me, he won't last much longer. He'll meet a blacker rabbit than himself one of these nights. That doe over there, what's her name? Fancy her, do you? <laughs> She's called Heisenflay. But I'd look elsewhere if I were you. She's a troublemaker. The council's got their eye on her. You go now, talk to Bigwig. Yeah, yeah, I go talk to Mr. Bigwig. He'll be in field by Arch on the Iron Road. Go find him. By the Iron Road? Yeah, I go and find him. He'll tell you the plan. He tell me the plan. I know the plan. Now don't attract attention. Of course, of course. I be quiet, I be clever. You wait here. Heisenthalay. Sir? I want to talk with you. I am in the mark and under your orders, sir. Do you remember a pale grey rabbit called Holly you helped escape some while ago? You've made a mistake, sir. Oh, listen, Eisenthalay, listen carefully. I'm from a warren where life is free, where you can live as you wish. I've come to bring you all out of Ephrafa, as many as will come. You might be a spy, sent by the council. You know I'm not. Will you join us and persuade your friends as well? Trust me. My friends are not far away. My courage, my spirit, it's so much less than it was. We can escape from Ephrafa, believe me. Yes. I think I do. Listen. 
listen carefully. Yeah! We're ready. We leave at sunset. Ah, ready. Good. For sure. There will be lots of us. We'll meet you at the Iron Bridge. Sunset. Go! Good. Sunset. And you must guide us to the river. <laughs> Plenty good trick. Trick? What trick? <laughs> Listen, if you see a patrol following us, you must drive them away. Terrify them. Yeah, yeah. I fly at them. Yeah, yeah. Shh. Remember, sunset. Yeah. You plenty good fella. Set. When? Get as many as you can to the near hind mark at sunset, just before early Silfley. Suppose something happens. Nothing will happen. We can do it. Yes. I think we can. Sometimes I can tell when things are true. Sometimes I can see it. A high down with trees. I've become foolish. You'll have to meet this friend of mine. He talks just like that. We'll be ready. Sunset, then. And a bird will fight for us. A, a bird? Even Woolward won't expect that. Big wig! That uh, white bird you were talking to this morning. Talking to, sir? You were very close to it. Why? Well, uh, well, I've, I've never been hurt by a bird. That's not what I asked. Well, to tell you the truth, sir, I think I was uh, trying to impress you. In future, stay in your own mark. <laughs> sir. One more thing. What do you know about a, a homba? A homba, sir? You let it on to some rabbits? I didn't intend to. I didn't know they were there. You didn't report it. Everything out of the ordinary is to be reported. Oh, I didn't know there was anything out of the ordinary in running from a homba. Mm, that was a patrol on the track of a band of strangers. Do you know anything about them? I saw some tracks, but I can't tell you any more than that, sir. I'm taking out a wide patrol tomorrow. Across the iron road and try to pick up their tracks. I want you to come along. Yes, sir. Campion, follow him. Don't let him out of your sight. I've been told to tell you early Silfley has been cancelled this evening. No one told me anything about it. Have a look over there and you'll see why. Sir. He's gone. Big wig. He's wounded, Sherville, and taken a crowd of the mark with him. I'm blefless. I'll blind him. I'll blind him. <laughs> Where's the bird? He'll be here. He better. Where is that bird? What are you doing here? I've been for a long time. 
is no sunset. He's no good here. Where are they? They should be here by now. Silver, go up to the Iron Bridge and see if you can find them. Champion, get this miserable group back to their marks. I'll settle with you myself, Big Week. There's no need to take you back. Come on and try, you crack brain slave driver. You did it. I did, didn't I? It's not over yet. Mr. Big Lip, they Keep going down to the river. The general's behind me. Where do we go, Hazel? I trusted you, Big Wig. You can trust me now. You either go into the river or be torn to pieces. There's nowhere left to run. <laughs> Campion, the vein. But I give the word. We we'll go straight into them. That bird can't save you now. There it is. Ah! <laughs> Warren Kiha. Good. You go, I go. It's finished here for me. I go to Pig Water. Take care of that wing. It's winter, plenty cold, then I come back. Come back anytime. And thank you, Kiha. Pig Underground. What's the matter? General. Where? The wood behind us. Full of effervescence. Well, I'm not going back. Maybe we ought to leave. Anyone who wants to can go. But we went through a lot to get here, and I'm not going to leave now. Neither am I. And if I'm for the Black Rabbit, there's one or two from Ephrafa who will come with me. We'll fill in the holes good and deep. They'll have to dig us out. They can't stay out in the open for long without attracting Ellie. You don't know the Ephrafans. They'll never give up. Black of ours, right. Maybe we should leave. We're staying. But there may be a better way. Let me come with you. No, they know you too well. It'll be better if I go alone. Now get those holes filled in. I won't be long. <laughs> ah, ah, 
They'll take us back to Ephra for their house, they will. Listen, we're not finished yet. Not by a long shot. You were one of those on the river bank. Did Bigwig send you? I'm a friend of Bigwig's. What was left unfinished on the river bank will be finished now. It would be better for both of us if we could come to terms. Terms? Oh, very well. These are my terms. Hand over all the deserters immediately. We couldn't agree to that. But I can suggest something better for both of us. You're in no position to bargain. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We have enough enemies as it is. Perhaps we should be together, a joining of free, independent warrens. Hmm. Ah, I have no time for this nonsense. Shall I kill him, sir? No. You take back our terms. You tell your chief bigwig that if he and Heisenthray and the others aren't waiting outside when I come for them, I'll tear out every throat in the place. Do you remember the rats in the barn? We got out of that all right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we did. We, 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 we got out of that all right. <laughs> to the beach roots. Let's start at this end. Oh, how cold. What is it? Are you all right? I, I'm trying to listen. Only I can't hear it. I'm going away, Hazel. I'm floating. Oh, cold. How? Oh, Fine. How cold. Oh. Fine. Can you hear me? Listen. They've got something down there that's strange. Get out! Get out! They had a great bird that turned into a shaft of lightning. And there was another creature that took them away down the river. Here. I reckon we ought to go back home. Who said that? Uh, nobody, sir. You were put there to take. Get back to it. Fritz, stop him, Hazel. The others are going far. We go. Fiver, wake up. Oh, there's a dog loose in the wood. There's a dog loose in the wood. We need to cross because there's a dog loose in the wood. There's a dog loose in the wood. There's a dog loose in the wood. Bigwig, I need runners. Dandelion, Blackberry. Heisenberg can run. Good. We've hardly any time. I've got a plan. If it works, it'll finish Woundwood for good. As soon as we're gone, block up this run and get everyone back behind the wall. But where? Hold them up as long as you can. Don't give in to them, whatever. Where are you going? Let her out and show me what to do. Let them go. It's that chief bigwig I'm after. Find their chief. Heisenthay, you hide here. When the time comes, make sure you get back to the warren. It'll all depend on you. I'll be ready. Lord Frith, I know you've looked after us well, and it's wrong to ask even more of you, but my people are in terrible danger. So I would like to make a bargain with you, my life in return for theirs. There is not a day or night that a doe offers her life for her kitten or some honest captain of Isla, his life for his chief. But there is no bargain. What is, is what must be. Blackberry, this is where we leave you. Stay close and don't move. Don't break too soon. Are you clear what's to be done? Yes. <laughs>
grass. Just there. Opposite him. If we meet again, Hazel Ra, we'll have the making of the best story ever. And you'll be the one to tell it. Once I was trying to impress you. I hope I have. Then I told you that I would kill you myself. There's no white bird here, big wig. <laughs> your life away. Cracker, sir. Come out. My chief's told me to defend this run. Your chief. Run! Run for your lives! Run! Come back! Come back and fight! Dogs aren't dangerous! General Woundworth's body was never found. It could be that he still lives his fierce life somewhere else. But from that day on, mother rabbits would tell their kittens that if they did not do as they were told, the general would get them. Such was Woundworth's monument. And perhaps it would not have displeased him. has done his day's work and lies calm and easy in the red sky. Ella Rara and his children and his children's children come out of their holes and feed and play in his sight. For they are his friends and he has promised them that they can never be destroyed. 
Hazel. You know me, don't you? I don't. Yes, my lord. I know you. I've come to ask if you would like to join my house club. We should be glad to have you. And I know you'd like it. You've been feeling tired, haven't you? If you're ready, we might go along now. You needn't worry about them. They'll be all right. And thousands like them. If you'll come along, I'll show you what I mean. with a thousand enemies and whenever they catch you they will kill you but first they must catch you digger listener runner prince with the swift warning be cunning and your people will never be destroyed